Uh, welcome to uh, Boy Digital HQ. We're here as Robert Whiteford, uh, Scotland's only and top UFC fighter, um, who we sponsor and work with um, on his digital media. Um, I'd just like to take this opportunity to introduce Gregor Miller, who's um, one of our social media managers. Um, and Gregor's going to ask Robert a few questions that he's thought up himself, that the team's thought up, and the way <coughs> that internet is, um, is sent in for us. So, all to you, Gregor. What are your thoughts on how the MMA scene is kind of doing in the UK at the moment? It seems to be uh, definitely growing. But in the UK and Europe as a whole, is great. Uh, I think Scotland's still. Uh, you're lucky, it's some room to improve. You're lucky if I can get in the local paper back home, you know what I mean? That's how terrible it is. Uh, so, I probably better not get started on that because I'd be here all day. <laughs> In the media outlets and stuff. Uh, in terms of the UFC's expansion into Europe, and do you think that's working well? They're well, that's massive. Well, you've, you've got Gary Cook, he's the ex CEO in Manchester City, and he's pushing it. Right. He, he knows his job, so that's yep. why that's expanding. Uh, and they're just trying to branch and reach into other European countries, as in Scotland. I think they're coming to Scotland next year. You, th you think uh, that's going to happen? Yeah, 100% it's going to happen. Uh, it's just a matter of when and time. And where mm -hmm. I think they've got the hydro and glass going out, uh, yeah. So I think that's a suitable venue for them. They've already been and checked that out. Uh, so I think it's going to be first quarter of next year, hopefully. Uh, so I, I was looking to fight on uh, the London card February and then Glasgow later on, later mm -hmm. on in the year, April, May, around at that time. Uh, so I think, as if you call it when the circus come to town, I think that's when there'll be more uh, media attention and stuff. And, Hopefully it doesn't just for that one event, hopefully the media attention stays and mm -hmm. the sport grows as a whole. The athletes like me get start getting paid more, you know what I mean? Yeah. There seems to be a lot more at a grassroots level through Facebook. I've seen MMA clubs in Paisley, Oban, um, up north in Aberdeen. There was a guy that did it in my hometown for a while, but he, he moved on, he got a cushion job somewhere else. So it seems to be, it does seem to be growing. Well, it's definitely grown in... As uh, Scotland's a fight nation, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We love to fight. Uh, it's, it's anything with that involved, it's going to grow, but it's just going to take time. Yep. That's the thing. But as far as the, the, the MMA community growing, which is all, always going to happen, you want to get the general public involved, you know what I mean? You want the NBC, the sport as a different aspect rather than it just being barbaric fighting. You, yep. need, you need to educate them, get them involved, and then it changes everybody's opinion of it. So mm -hmm. then maybe come a Saturday night, uh, the UFC event comes on, it's in Europe, it's the right time scale for people to watch. Uh, a local pub will stick on, you know what I mean? Yep. Rather than it being boxing or football or something, that, that's, you need to change the outlook. Yeah. I mean, one thing for me, the different elements of MMA, the groundwork, the footwork, the standing and trading, once you understand what people are trying to do and how to defend that and how to counter it, it becomes a much more interesting that, that's what I mean. than people need to get, straight up boxing. People need to get educated on mm -hmm. it, and that only happens with through the media. Oh, it's a, they're never going to see if it's in the dark, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. uh, that's, that's the only way forward. There's the media, and I've, I've told my management and stuff, and they get pissed off with me, but I've told them a million times, to what I'm going to face, they need to, need to keep addressing it and get the media involved with you guys, mm -hmm. and, and this happening. Yeah. So, so it can happen, and it's mm -hmm. not going to happen to anybody else, because there's nobody else in the UFC in Scotland. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, we've got one girl from our club uh, in the Grip House in Glasgow, yep. Joanne. She's on the Ultimate Fighter season just now. Yep. And uh, so she, she, she'll she go on to fight in the UFC, but right now I'm <laughs> one soul here, yep. you know what I mean? So somebody needs to do it, and it's, it's not going to happen with some guy who's fighting on SFC in Stirling because nobody's interested in that. You yep. know what I mean? The big UFC is the big show, so it needs yep. to come for me, and it needs to come for people like Joanne who's going to be going on to fight in the UFC. Yep. Uh, so it really needs to be addressed, I 